Hey, hey, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com and another video on Crash Plan. And in this video, we are going to have a look particularly on Crash Plan's restore process because I mean, you can do a great backup and have your data secured, but if you cannot recover your data in case of a computer crash or hard drive failure or whatever, the best backup strategy is worthless. So in this video, we are going to have a look whether we can restore our data from CrashPlan flawlessly. And also, I'm going to show you some tricks and hidden gems of the restore process. So stay with me here and we are going to cover the process step by step in this video. So you can see this is the crash plan client and we are now in the backup tab. So there you can see our destinations and what destinations are connected to be ready to recover. And you can see that my friend's MacBook to whom I backed my data up is disconnected because of the gray little dot there and also my other macbook um, that i've made a backup of as well is disconnected so i cannot restore from those locations currently but you can see the green check mark that is at the side of the crash plan central and that means that i can perform the backup from the crash plan central servers and this is what we are going to do right now Remember that in order to be able to back up from the cloud and to restore from the cloud, you need a crash plan plus account. Depending on how much storage you need, you might want to have a look at the 10 gigabyte account or at the unlimited account. I am myself having here an unlimited account because I have, well, quite a lot of data to store. But for this video, I will restore my test files, which are roughly one gigabyte in size and those test files are video files, audio files, PowerPoint presentations, Word documents. So a variety of files that might be backed up by other users because I try to emulate the best backup scenario here and the most likely case of a data restore. So let's head into the restore tab and see what options we have. You can see here the files that you have backed up with crash plan and at the top, you can select the um, from which destination you want to restore. As you can see, my friend's MacBook and my MacBook are offline currently, so I cannot restore from those. But I have the option to restore from the Crash Plan Central, which is available 100% and ready to restore. But you can obviously also filter the files if you do not want to do a complete restore because you need some urgent project files right now because you have a deadline tomorrow for example you can look for for example word documents and only select the files that you actually need right now that way you can quickly restore files without having to restore your whole backup selection which would take a while even with a very very fast internet connection but of course you can also do a full restore and as our folder is not that big it's only one gigabyte in size we will select the whole folder to um to restore everything so you can also display deleted files because the beauty of crash plan is even if you delete files from your system they are not being deleted from crash plan servers you can always go back to those files even though you've deleted them months ago this is a very nice feature and I really like that because suddenly you have accidentally deleted a file and, and, and a, a month later you realize that you need it urgently and you just can go back and select the file provided you have activated the options in the crash plan menu where uh, you select that you want to keep deleted files in your backup selection. Then there is the option uh, which kind of files you want to select and want to restore. So you have the option to go back into history and restore other file versions. For example, if you accidentally uh, have overwritten or deleted a file, you can just go back and, and restore the file accordingly. And also you have the option to choose where you want to restore the data to whether you want to restore it to the desktop or to another location and whether you want to rename the files if there are du any duplicates. So we start the restore right now and see how long it takes to restore one gigabyte of files. Also, what is very important to mention before the, the restore is finished here is that you can access your files 
before the restore process is actually complete. This is a great advantage if you really need files uh, urgently or if you want to just check on your restores and you only have to browse and double click the folder where uh, that you have selected as your destination. Everything seems to be all right here. So we just pause the video and come back when the restore is finished. Okay, so here we are. And the restore took half an hour for one gigabyte. Again, this is not the fastest result I have seen with online backup uh, services. And as I said before, with a backup, it can be that I am based in Germany and that there is some sort of lag between the servers that are based in the United States and uh, Germany. So people who live in Europe uh, might have to expect some a little slower backups and restores than people from United States. But let's just preview a file here. So let's preview a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, perfectly. Everything is restored, right? And let's have a look at a PSD file I created for a video that I'm going to release soon, which is what is cloud storage. And yes, correctly restored perfectly. So let's exit out of that. And it seems as our files have been restored completely and correctly in half an hour. And this is a great result. So obviously restoring with a client is not the only option you have to get to your files. You can also do that online. So if you happen to have a data crash and you're, you have just a fresh install on your PC or if you are somewhere else on another PC and cannot install the client, you can get your clients via the web interface. So you just log into your account and click on computer. And there you see your connected computers and the data that is stored with those computers. So here you see this is my iMac and last connected 46 minutes ago with the last known IP. So you can have track also of who accessed your files. If there is any security breach, you will notice that immediately if there is an unknown IP address to you. So here you see the file tree again, as in the client, and you can select whole folders so you can make a whole restore of your files or go in detail into the individual files and select only the files that you need right now. For example, if you want to complete an important project or anything like that, and you have the same options as you have in the web client. And if you want to restore that file, you just click on restore and crash plan will prepare the file for download and gives you the link at the end of the page and then you can download that accordingly and open it and edit it if you want all in all i must say that i'm pretty impressed with crash plan and the results uh, it gives me what i particularly like is the option to have multiple backups in one client so i can back up to other machines in my local area network. And also I can do a peer to peer backup to my friend's PC, for example. And to see how that works, you can have a look at my other uh, video that I published on my YouTube channel or on cloudbackupping.com. And there I covered that in detail. And also the ease of use was pretty impressive. And it was not only easy to use, but it also allowed me to uh, fiddle around a little bit with the option. And this is what I particularly like as a geek. And uh, if you are a geek, you certainly love uh, Crash Plan. But also if you just, I would say the average guy who just wants simple backups and doesn't want to think about backups, Crash Plan is also something for you. And the combination of those features actually is very difficult and Crash Plan manage that, manage that quite well. So I hope you pretty much liked the video. And if you did, please, um, if you have a website, link to it on your website and write about it or publish it on your social networks and share it with your friends and family. I am Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackupping.com and we are going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.